On the second day of my adventure, we, Iris, Ben, Chris, and I went to the university and walked around downtown Saarbrücken. The campus of the Universite Saarland is huge. We were driving along and I started to see some buildings along the one side and I thought, oh, this must be Saarbrücken. Nope, it was all campus. As we parked and walked up a massive flight of stairs, we found a campus map to help us find where we needed to go. We went to campus because I was having a few issues with my housing arrangements. I received an email telling me where everything was and that I had to make a deposit, but I couldn't make that because of federal regulations holding my student aid money. I hadn't received any emails back from them, so we went to talk to them now that I was here. The main lady we went to talk to was ill that day, so we talked to her intern instead, and she said that my room probably wouldn't be given away, but there wasn't anything that she could do or that she knew of that we could do about my rent being 35 more euros then I was told on my application the max amount of rent was going to be. So I didn't tell her I was going to take the apartment, and I didn't tell her I wasn't going to take the apartment, but that we would look at some of the other options, and then I would let them know, because 35 euros is a lot of money when you're living on a very tight budget. After we got all that information, we walked around campus a little bit and found out where the student colleague is and the Mensa. Studio and Colleague is where Chris and I are going to be taking our intensive language courses, and we might be taking more courses there during the regular semester, but we're not sure yet. The Mensa is the cafeteria, and instead of being astronomically priced like it is in the States, it's actually rather inexpensive. You can get a really big lunch for around 4 euros, or you can get smaller meals for like two or three euros and they always have a salad bar for like three euros. They always, no not always, but usually they also have a dessert um, buffet. I like dessert. You laugh bad. <laughs> Who doesn't like dessert? at a time. <laughs> <laughs> After looking around the cafeteria, we made our way back to the car, stopping outside the main entrance for a picture with the university sign. Gotta have one of those. One of the things I have noticed here is the graffiti. I noticed it on the first day, but didn't really take any footage of it. In Boise, any graffiti that I've seen is just basically black scribbles on the wall, but here it's really colorful, and I don't know about other big cities, but it's kind of pretty. The colorful picture is from the tram station today and the other Merry Christmas one is from downtown. The area of downtown we went to is the main shopping area and then we also went to the older part of downtown too later that day. And if you need to go someplace downtown, you know, it's out in the middle of everywhere. There's so much to take in, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're just like, <laughs> I don't know what to look at. Yes? The shopping area is called the Promenade, and it's basically a massive strip mall. There, they had a lot of stores that I didn't know of, and then they also had some that were familiar to me, like E-Spirit and Claire's. H&M and others like that. We didn't really go into uh, any of the stores really, but we just like walked down the entire strip and I think it was about a mile, I would say. And then we went to the actual mall itself, which is this big, gorgeous building. They've added to it in a more modern style, but the inside just as beautiful and wonderful and they had a lot of the same stores inside the mall as they had outside the mall which was really amazing to me that those stores those exact same stores could compete in the same area and not like lose money and they were you know the same price because if you paid an extra five percent by going to the mall I mean definitely you would save that by going to the one you know two feet away outside of the mall. Um, so that was really interesting to see. 
one of the things that we did find in the mall was a gluten-free section. Well, it wasn't a gluten-free section. It was a store that had a lot of gluten-free foods, and I was just in rapture seeing all the different choices I had. And I did film a little bit, even though I got yelled at um, for filming. Apparently, it was forbidden in that store. But, you know, it's there anyways. <laughs> and then um, after that, we went to lunch. Ben and Iris stopped by McDonald's, and Chris and I did not go there. We went outside to get our french fries at a kebab place, and they were actually really good. I tried this new sauce that they have for their fries. It's called curry ketchup. It's pretty good, you know. It definitely tastes like curry, but it wasn't bad. And then, of course, you know, we stopped by banks. Chris had some American money he needed to exchange, and I had to get some money out of a certain ATM so I didn't have a ton of fees. And we walked around the old part of um, downtown, too, which was really nice. Like, um, the old area is where most of the bars are and the really expensive stores. And all the streets were cobblestone, and they were nice and, like, narrow. Like, we went down some little alleys, and it was really cool to think about how people with carts and horses and things used to, like, walk on these actual stones. And um, just to think about the way life was, you know, a couple hundred years ago versus the way it is now. One of the places that we walked past was the Rat House. That's basically the City Hall. And their City Hall is gorgeous. There's a statue of St. George and the Dragon on the outside. Big brick building, I would say. It's Renaissance styled architecture, just amazing building to look at. So it's fashion, and so everywhere around town we've been seeing people in costumes. And it's a little odd to see full-grown adults in costumes when they're at work. Later that night I went to a party at one of Eris's friend's house. <laughs> Later that night, it turned into an opportunity for me to become introduced with all of the German favorite classics, and I've got a couple of them here, and also a couple of others, but um, we just turned one of the bedrooms into a dance floor and just had a great good old time. I was really surprised at how much I was able to understand. I didn't, you know, talk a lot, but um, most of the people there were able to speak English if I needed to fall back on that, but I didn't need it as much as I thought I was going to, and so that was really great, and it was it was a lot of fun and a great way to end um, my first real day in Germany.